Welcome to our channel, please hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified whenever our new video comes out. The Paper Menagerie by Ken Louis is a first-person narration involving multiple chronological time jumps to reveal cultural dynamics and complex familial relationships. First, a brief summary of The Paper Menagerie. The story follows the life of Jack, a young boy with a Chinese mother and an American father. His mother is the only person in his life who can perform a magical act in which she creates origami animals that come to life and interact with Jack. These paper creations become Jack's closest friends and playmates. As Jack grows older, he becomes embarrassed by his mother's Chinese heritage and feels alienated from her and his Chinese roots. He starts ignoring the paper menagerie and disregards his mother's attempts to connect with him through her culture. Jack eventually grows distant from his mother and moves away from home. As an adult, he receives a letter from his mother written in Chinese, which he cannot read. After enlisting the help of a Chinese woman at the bus stand who reads him the letter, Jack then realizes the significance of his mother's heritage and the sacrifices she made to fit into his world. The author seamlessly incorporates magical realism within the story through the paper animal toys of the young Jack suggesting the power of childhood imagination. Jack's mom's creation twitched, and it pounced playfully, it growled and the paper tiger vibrated. Jack fantasized the paper animals as moving and breathing animals. The story begins with one of Jack's earliest memories associating magic with his mother who creates a paper tiger to comfort and soothe him when he was uncontrollably sobbing. The mother pleaded, packed, tucked, rolled, and twisted deftly to make the paper tiger. Her act of inflating paper by blowing into it makes young Jack think that she was blowing life into it and hence she was using her magic. Jack as a young child was very close to his mother and this love for his mother made him feel her as extraordinary to the point he thought that she breathed into them so that they shared her breath, and thus moved with her life. The origami animals become symbolic of maternal love and closeness between Jack and his mother. Also Jack was not at an age where he didn't grasp race issues or logic and reason which heightened his childhood imagination. The fantastical action of the paper animals is effortlessly contrasted with the normality and mundaneness of everyday life. For example, the capillary action that pulled the dark liquid high up into the legs of the origami buffalo that jumped into a dish of soy sauce on the table at dinner to mimic a real water buffalo. Or the paper shark that flapped about and swam around and around in water. Ken Louie has blended the intersecting themes of assimilation and alienation within the short story that depicts how cultural clashes and cultural dissociation leads to identity crisis and emotional distancing and hostility of an individual from the collective society. Assimilation refers to the process through which individuals from one culture adopt the beliefs, values, and customs of another dominant culture. In the paper Menagerie, from a young age, Jack is exposed to both American and Chinese cultures. But as he grows older, he becomes increasingly embarrassed by his mother's Chinese heritage. Especially because she cannot speak English fluently and practices cultural traditions that seem strange to Jack. This embarrassment of having Asian facial features leads Jack to distance himself from his mother's culture and prioritize assimilating into American society. He rejects his Chinese heritage, including the origami animals that his mother creates for him. In doing so, Jack unknowingly rejects a significant part of his own identity. He dismisses his mother's efforts to introduce him to her cultural traditions and fails to understand the profound significance of the paper menagerie as a symbol of his mother's love and connection. He struggles to find a sense of belonging in either culture, feeling like an outsider in both which leads to alienation from his cultural roots and isolating his mother. Alienation refers to the feeling of isolation or disconnection from one's own cultural background or identity. Jack's mother left her home in China to marry Jack's father and live in America, where she faced language barriers and cultural differences. Despite her efforts to raise Jack with an appreciation for her heritage, she feels increasingly estranged from him as he distances himself emotionally. Discriminating communal comments and racist remarks are casually dropped throughout the narrative. 
Living in White Picket, Connecticut community, the neighbor ladies remark Jack as a little monster having slanty eyes looks unfinished and cultural and matrimonial mixing never seems right. Jack's bullying in school due to his Asian facial features and the playful clash between Jack and Mark's toys spurs Jack's distance from his Chinese heritage. The playful clash between Obi-Wan and Lao Hu is symbolically a clash of cultures ultimately perpetuated by racist undertones. Mark's Star Wars action figures representing the American perspective deems Jack's paper menagerie as trash and garbage. There is an abrupt and uncomfortable shift in the narrative, mentioning how Dad had picked Mom out of a catalog and advancing to one time when I was in high school. The father is now trying to get me to speak to Mom again to reconcile the relationship between the son and the mother. Jack had become emotionally distant from his mother in an effort to sever his ties with his Chinese roots, scorning we had nothing in common. She might as well be from the moon. He mocked his mother's efforts at adaptation as exaggerated, uncertain, ridiculous, graceless. And Lou's writing skillfully weaves together fantasy elements and emotional depth to create a memorable and emotionally resonant narrative. The heart of the story lies in the complex relationship between Jack and his mother. The story delves into the struggles of individuals who belong to multiple cultures, attempting to reconcile their heritage with the dominant culture they live in. The story beautifully portrays the depth of a mother's love and the sacrifices she makes for her child, even when it means suppressing her cultural identity.